I looked into his eyes, which were far larger than mine, but shallower, and yellowed. The irises backed and packed with tarnished tin foil, seen through the lenses of old, scratched isinglass. They shifted a little, but not to return my stare. It was more like the tipping of an object towards the light. I admired his sullen face, the mechanism of his jaw, and then I saw that from his lower lip, if you could call it a lip, grim, wet, and weapon-like hung five old pieces of fish line, or four and a wire leader, with the shrivel still attached with all their five big hooks grown firmly in his mouth. A green line frayed at the end where he broke it, two heavier lines and a fine black thread still crimped from the strain and snap when it broke, and he got away. Like metals with their ribbons, frayed and wavering, a five-haired beard of wisdom. Trailing from his aching jaw, I stared and stared, and victory filled up the little rented boat from the pool of bilge where oil had spread a rainbow around the rusted engine to the baler rusted orange. The sun cracked thwarts, the oarlocks on their strings, the gunnels, until everything was rainbow, 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 and I let the fish go.